Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is iPhoto 11, part of iLife 11, and I'm running through it here for the first time on one of my machines. The MacBook Pro is sponsored by PC Pit Stop. Uh, it looks like iPhoto, but of course they've updated a few of the elements, uh, including uh, the finer design points of the icons or the controls uh, at the bottom of uh, iPhoto, which is probably the most recognizable change uh, on the outset. Uh, of course, one of the things that they're touting in iLife 11 uh, and uh, Mac OS 10.7 or Lion is uh, being able to go full screen with an application. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is all familiar, you know, scrubbing with images. There's uh, where I keep uh, images of my dogs. Now, of course, I, I have more images than uh, just what's listed here uh, in iPhoto, uh, just because I don't use iPhoto to really manage uh, a lot of my uh, images. At this point, I'm still using Picasa. Uh, but of course, I could scroll through and uh, go to faces, Places. I'm not going to go through faces because I don't exactly know who's going to pop up right now uh, sorted by different albums or then there's also the new projects view uh, where you could uh, more easily create books and or cards. Uh, so let's go ahead, go back to events, Wicket and Pixie. Uh, I can also zoom out just a bit uh, and then over to create, book, album, or card. I'm going to go ahead and create a book. I selected Wicket and Pixie. And so uh, right up front, uh, I can choose uh, various designs, uh, front cover, uh, insert a subtitle or author name, interesting. Uh, hard cover, soft cover, or wire bound are the options at the top. And I don't know if I'm going to be keeping the top of this particular screencast because the, the resolution at which I'm recording is 1280 by 800 versus the 1280 by 720 that I'm going to be outputting. Uh, let's just go ahead and select that. Uh, and large, medium, or small. Okay, sounds good. We'll create that large. In a couple seconds time, uh, I basically now have an album created automatically for me. Uh, and they group the images uh, according to date. And if I want to, let's say, swap this one with this one, I simply drag and drop, it swaps. I can also choose to zoom in on Pixie's face. Uh, I do the same thing with Wicket, move that around. Really easy to do. Uh, this is something that has uh, definitely been updated uh, for the new version of iPhoto. So we're going to go ahead and go back to all pages, projects. It's automatically been saved. The same thing would happen uh, then, too, with cards. So uh, we are going to, uh, I'm going to exit full screen, uh, uh, just to, in case it, the, the top is, is going to get clipped off. Let's go ahead and take the Chris Heads, create card, letterpress folded or flat. Letterpress, of course, would uh, give it a three-dimensionality uh, texture on an actual card. And if you don't understand, they actually bundle a uh, video preview to explain more about what letterpress is. Folded. Let's just go folded there. And I can, oh, there we go. Let's create that card. Don't ask me why. Of course, then it's saved in the sidebar here under the different projects. And then, of course, I'd be able to go through and order everything. I could uh, also pull in my uh, mobile me account, which I'm not going to log into right now. I have my uh, iPhone connected, and so I could view the images sitting on my iPhone at this point in time. And you can see I've posted a few of these already to uh, the Facebook group including uh, the uh, picture of the Microsoft Store uh, that is uh, coming into uh, the, uh, uh, well, it's literally, it's coming into Bellevue Square Mall in, uh, in November. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that over to events. And uh, we'll just delete the photos on the iPhone, not a big deal. What I'm going to do is pull that up. Of course, I could rename it Microsoft Store. I can rate it. Yeah, let's say five stars. It's a Microsoft Store after all. Rotate, hide, throw it in the trash, cut, copy, make key photo for the album. Let's go ahead and double click it. I can edit it. Oh, okay, so they've uh, moved these controls around. A simple enhancement. Ah, the green got a little uh, deeper there. Fix red eye, straighten, crop, or retouch. Uh, the retouching tool uh, allows you to remove blemishes. 
zits. And I don't think uh, there are any zits on the Microsoft Store at this point in time. Oh, nice effects here. Uh, so I can darken the image slightly, uh, add contrast, and as I keep pressing it, the contrast increases. Uh, make it a bit warmer, increase the saturation. Uh, I don't remember these uh, effect controls being in earlier versions of iPhoto, so that's actually a welcome change. Uh, of course, I could quick jump and, and click a, uh, a one of these uh, icons for sepia tone, black and white, antique, etc. And then you can undo multiple steps. Although it's interesting that I can't select and, and undo at, uh, and select which uh, effect I want to undo. You literally have to go back in the order at which you applied. And of course, you can dive in even deeper uh, and adjust uh, with the histogram here view. Uh, exposure, contrast, saturation. Ah, interesting. Avoid saturating skin tones. Now I'm curious. Um, let's go back to the events. I, I actually want to try that. Um, okay. <laughs> My mom was being goofy there. Uh, we're just going to uh, we're gonna uh, mess with dad here. Edit. We're going to try to avoid saturating skin tones, but we're going to... Uh, he's getting a little more pink, but it's not horrible. But I can definitely see his blemishes. Uh, of course, then I can uh, pick a neutral color. There's his white. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not working for me there, that uh, magenta tint. Uh, either way, uh, you could, of course, uh, take more time. Oh, right down below. This is kind of nice. Let's go ahead and close that tool. I can uh, select a thumbnail uh, from below. Uh, it's a, a new way of browsing uh, images uh, from uh, your events. You can take Wicket and Pixie again. That's uh, back when they were puppy dogs. And there's, uh, again, the uh, carousel of sorts or a slide uh, that uh, will allow you to navigate your library. If I pull up the info, of course, I get uh, the camera image, uh, or I guess information, uh, likely lifted from the EXIF data from the header. I could rename it there, add a description, there's the date it was taken, I could uh, rate that photo. Uh, it also showed me the settings of the camera, as I likely saw them on the camera, so it's surfacing that exif information in a very intelligent fashion. No faces, of course, in this photo at this point in time. I could probably add Pixie as a face, but I'm not going to do that. Assign it a place. Eh, don't really need to do that either. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off the info. Now, there was a way, if I can find it... Yeah, I guess it is under info uh, to see a, a histogram of the current image. And I'm, I'm really used to using that inside of uh, Picasa. Either way, I could add it to album, slideshow, book, or card if I started it. Uh, I could also select multiple photos, let's say uh, these photos, and share them by way of Mobile Me Gallery. I could order the prints directly, Flickr, Facebook, or this is one of the things that they're touting in uh, the new version of iPhoto, uh, sending multiple photos by email. So since I've selected several, it will actually format the email like this. And I can also choose a dis different stationery. And so instead of just attaching images in a raw capacity, uh, I could uh, literally uh, drag them around um, and uh, send the email as I see it right here from within iPhoto. It'll tell me uh, the message size total, which is kind of nice. So uh, let's see here. What else did they tout? New slideshows, of course. Um, let me see if I can play a slideshow right here. Don't know how well this is going to work. Okay, so I can choose my themes up front. Ken Burns, Origami, which I love. Uh, that's something that we've seen on the iPad and the Apple TV. Uh, reflections, sliding panels, snapshots, vintage prints, scrapbook, photomobile, holiday mobile, shatter. Ooh, that was neat. Places. Oh, so you can browse the globe. Uh, let's see where they're taking, of course, the classic uh, slideshow. Uh, you can choose your music, and then let's see, settings. Play each slide for a minimum of X seconds. Fit slideshow to music. Uh, you can select your transitions. Kind of nice. Oh, including cube. Show the caption if you want. Show the title slide. Shuffle slide order. Repeat slideshow. Scale photos to fill screen. And then use these settings as default. So uh, I think I've just got... Okay, so now it's actually playing some music. Nice. Okay, so that was a, a video that I had in the folder. Um, 
and I'm not going to go through the entire slideshow. It's, that would be kind of uh, mundane. Uh, either way, I think I've done just about uh, everything I wanted to do here with the iPhoto 11 screencast, a part of iLife 11. Um, it's available right now. You can order it online, go.tagjag.com slash Apple. I bought it with my own money and have the receipt to prove it. What are your thoughts on iPhoto? Uh, iPhoto 11 or iPhoto in general? I'd be curious to know what you're thinking. Uh, my email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you know uh, you can uh, find me on the web, chris.perillo.com. I can probably take you out with this slideshow. Uh, and I better take the settings off of scale photos to fit the screen. Themes. Let's go with origami. It's probably going to try playing something too. Uh, all right, I'm going to mute. Hopefully, I didn't mute my microphone. Either way, <laughs> chris.perillo.com, twitter.com slash chrisperillo, facebook.com slash chrisperillo, and then, of course, uh, you can uh, find me uh, streaming live 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.